Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to day number nine of the Avid of Cyber 2023. And today we're going to be talking about malware analysis and learn about that topic today. So let's jump into the desktop and have some fun. All right, folks. So here we are. I did boot up my machine and we're going to have some fun because this is a topic. Just keep it 100 with everyone. It's very, very green to me. So let's see how I do. <laughs> So malware analysis, uh, this is pretty cool. She sells, uh, she sells C plus shells by the C2 shore. Interesting. Obviously C2 is command and control and uh, all that good stuff. So let's see if I can get through this without the walkthrough. All right, the learning objectives, obviously is the, the foundation of analyzing malware samples safely. Obviously anytime you create any malware or something like that, you should sandbox that just so it doesn't get out in the wild. Uh, the fundamentals of dot, dot .NET binaries. I did learn some .NET in college, which was a long time ago, folks. Uh, the, the, D, the DNS or DN spy tool for decompile malware samples written in .NET, which is right here on the right. Let's open that up. And then building, uh, building an essential methodology for analyzing the source code. All right, so... Malware handling 101, anytime you handle malware, you wanna make sure it's safe and sound. So, but like it says here, put it in a sandbox environment, all that good stuff. All right, so let's make this bigger and let's keep going down, 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 down. Intro to malware, if you wanna go check out that, I may have to do that after this. And basic C++, like when I, all my programming, I say I don't know a lot of it, but I did learn some in college, but I just don't play around with it as much. I don't talk about a lot of stuff I know, but all right, cool deal. So decompile malware samples with DNS spy with DN spy. All right, cool deal. Double click this. This is what we just did. And then we can go ahead and do file open and we can open up this malware. Where is the desktop? So it's on the desktop. Let's go ahead and go there. Desktop artifacts. Artifacts, right? Desktop artifacts. What the hell is it? Uh, that's interesting. Let's go ahead and just go. Let's browse to our desktop here. Artifacts. There it is. All right, whatever. Let's just drag and drop it then. We can also do that. All right, let's X out of here. Cool dizzy. All right, so you guys can read all this. This is pretty much the sample that we're working with. This juicy tomato or tomato, whatever, however you say that. And uh, the program is down here. And then this is the program. This is what we'll probably mainly tinker with. Man, this brings back memories. All right, so let's go ahead and understand the malware functionalities. The main, obviously the main, let's see, the main application, excuse me, the main program is right here. We can see it here and number one, get it, malware request. Okay, I did read a little bit before we started the video, but uh, you know, just read this, get it, post it. This is pretty, the sleeper, this is pretty interesting. Like the, uh, the functions there, the execution, the execute command. So this executes the command, uh, do, 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 do encryptor. Decryptor, palette. All right, so let's just go down and have some fun. If we have to revert back up up there, we will. But then you you know, you guys can read all this. I just want to get through the walkthrough. So this can be a really long video if we explain all this. And I'm sure the walkthrough. I haven't watched the walkthrough from. I think it's from Husky Hacks. He's awesome. He does malware. I actually watched some of his training from TCM. He's amazing. Kudos to you, brother. Um, he probably is going to explain this a lot better than me, but I'm just here to do the walkthrough every day to see how much I learn and don't learn, right? All right, so here we go. <clears throat> Breaking the loop. Okay, so let's just conclusion. Congratulations. You know you should know everything now. Congratulations. Go ahead and uh, reverse this bad boy. All right. Now we can come down here. We can go to the program, decryptor, encryptor, Execute everything that they were talking about in here, main, post it, sleeper, you know, so on and so forth. All right, so let's go ahead and just try to answer these questions quick, quick and easy. 
right? So what HTTP user agent was used by the malware for its connection request to the C2 server? All right, if you're not familiar, you just go ahead and hit this, but let's go ahead and just click around and see what's popping, All right? Let's go to the program and let's go ahead and come down. All right, so let's, if we come back here, let's go ahead and just come back here for a second. Uh, why doesn't it work? Come on. All right, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and come back up here. And I think it's going to be in the post-it. Where is it? Why is my mouse working? My mouse stops working. My, my mic stops working. Any, every time I do a video and I'm, and I'm in IT, oh man, everyone's in trouble. If I have to work on your stuff, you're in trouble. All right, so let's go ahead and go to post it, get it. Okay, so based on the source code, so this is gonna get the web request. So let's go to the get it string, right? This is what it's saying here, or we'll post it. Actually post, because it's posting. What was the question? Jesus. <laughs> let's see. Uh, was used from it? Yeah, so it's post it, my bad. My B. All right, so I don't know if I can I make this bigger. Oh, yes, I can. That's gonna be really big. All right. I wish I could move my head, but I'm not fancy moving, moving my circle head over to the right or to the left. So it looks like right here, the user agent, right? Because this is what it says, the user agent. So I wonder if, can I copy this? If I can copy this. I think this would be the answer. Um, copy. Can I just paste it right in here, please? Submit. Woohoo! Answer is correct. Cool. Let's keep going. And like I said, I, I did learn some of this back in the day, meaning, you know, years ago. Back in the days when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. But, all right. I don't want to go ahead and sing because I don't want to scare everyone. All right, so let's go ahead and what is the HTTP method used to submit Okay, so any kind, anytime you're trying to submit an output, you're gonna post it, right? So let's go ahead and put post. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and keep going down. What key is used by the malware to encrypt or decrypt the data? So obviously I wanna to go to, first I wanna to go to encrypt because it's asking what encrypt, right? So uh, don't tell me this is it right here. This might be it right here. You, what is it? You, you can't hack this super secure two keys, C2 keys. Let's go ahead and copy this. And I guess uh, you got hacked, son. All right, let's uh, go ahead and see. Okay, perfect. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's see what's the next one here. Number four, where is this? Number four. What is the first HTTP URL used in the malware? What is the first? All right, so let's go ahead and go back to program. Let's see what we, the first. All right, so here's a string. So is it McGritty C, secret C2? Um, but it has, okay, so it's slash reg. Okay, I see, I see. Let's go ahead and do it. Let me see if I can just do control C, control V. Perfect. And it's gonna be slash reg because it shows it right here is the URL string. This is continuous, right? So we can see that there. So cool. So far, so good. I think I know what I'm doing, sort of. And how many seconds is the hard-coded value used to by the sleep function? All right, so let's go ahead and go to the sleeper. And the sleeper counter. So let's see if we can, let's see, what do we do here? All right, so let's go back to the main program. And let's go, let me see if we can find this sleeper account. Okay, so right here, it's gonna be 15, so divided by 15. Is this gonna be 15? My math is right. Boom, son. Damn, I feel like I'm smart. All right, so what is the C2 command? So what is the C2 command that the attacker uses to execute the, um, the command via CMD, which is the Windows command shell? All right, so let's go ahead and just go. Let's let's. I think that would be in main. If I was. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm probably have this one's probably going to be a little tricky. Uh, program splits. Uh, the shell. K 
can I do a control F here? Can I find stuff? Yeah, let's just do, I just want to see something. I don't even know what I'm doing. Maybe make believe I know what I'm doing. Um, all right, so I th let's see. Is it going to be s the shell? Oh, what the hell did I just do? I didn't mean to do that. So it may have executed that. So I think it's going to be the shell because when the... Yeah, I think it's going to be shell because this is going to... Yeah. Let me go ahead and just put shell. So that's what's going to execute. This main program is going to this the command.c uh, command.exe and it's going to execute this um, this shell. All right. Maybe I don't know how to explain that correctly, but that's that's what it is. In my head, it makes sense, but maybe I just don't know how to say it. All right. So what is the domain used by the malware to download another binary? What is the domain? Domain. I have no clue. Let's go figure it out. All right, so it's not going to be migrated because we that's the string. Let's come down. String number two, program implant. So the domain, so is it going to be slash dot migrity? I think maybe here. This is the only other domain. So let's go ahead and um, copy this and put stash dot migrity. Okay, cool. All right, that was it. All right, that was it for number day number nine. That was pretty, it wasn't simple, but it's cool because everything is right there for you as long as you toggle between the decoder, encoder, main, blah, blah, blah. You just have to pretty much toggle between them and you will find all the answers. So that was pretty, pretty fun. And that's day number nine. I'll see you guys in day number 10. Have fun and enjoy your day.